In this video, we shall learn about the relationship between displacement vector, electric field vector, that is electric field intensity and electric polarization vector. So before starting to it, let's look shortly to the definition of D, D vector, E vector and P vector. D is the displacement vector and displacement vector is, it is defined as uh, it depends only on actual charges and not on the induced charges. Later on everything will be clear, let's focus on the definition right now an electric field ve uh, vector that is electric field intensity it is defined as the force experienced by unit positive charge when placed in the electric field right this is electric field intensity and its value is given by this right so and comes to electric polarization vector electric polarization vector it is defined as the induced dipole moment per unit volume so it is defined as the induced dipole moment per unit volume if n is the number of induced dipole moment per unit volume then polarization can be written as n times of uh, induced dipole moment right i repeat again if n is the number of induced dipole moment right so induced dipole moment per unit volume right then polarization can be written as n times of induced dipole moment now one by one we'll go for the derivation so students the relationship between d e and p involves not only the relation just the relationship between d e and p in your examination they can directly ask you the relationship between d e and p or just the relationship between d and e or the relationship between e and p or the relationship between k and chi e k is your dielectric constant and chi e is your electrical susceptibility right electric susceptibility so here is your diagram let's first start from here then we'll we'll go for this then this then this right one by one we'll solve it so suppose this is your plates right these are your plates suppose suppose these are your plates okay and suppose here is your dielectric medium here is your dielectric medium right before dielectric medium suppose if this was your electric field electric field the direction of electric field is from plus to minus right so because because of these charges and because of polarization here it will develop negative charge and here it will develop the positive charges right so and the direction what is the direction of polarization now electric what is the direction for the electric field due to polarization it will be from plus to minus right so for inside the direction of electric field will be opposite to that of the direction of original direction of electric field due to original plates right so so here is your diagram uh, these are your two plates and here the negative here the opposite charges will develop and this the development of this opposite charges is termed as polarization or induced uh, charges right so uh, just before i told you displacement vector the definition of displacement vector should be the charge upon its area okay and this is the one property of displacement vector displacement vector does not depends on the induced charges it depends only on the actual charges right so guys here is your derivation now suppose this resultant electric field for this diagram it is given by electric field this this was your original plates right and the electric field was denoted by e naught right so e naught e naught plus this will be the resultant electric field will be e naught this due to original plate plus because of induced um, because of induced charges there will be another electric field called ep that is electric field due to polarization so just add it right this will be a resultant electric field but if you look it carefully here the original direction of electric field due to this original plates was this side right and the but the electric field due to polarization is opposite to that of e naught so just uh, here write down negative sign ep will be ep is in the direction opposite to e naught right so it is negative and guys for any electric field due to two plates right uh, here 
we have already learned in one of the derivation electric field due to two plates it is given by sigma upon epsilon naught right it comes out from derivation you can check it out by another videos if you want to see it so this can be written as sigma naught upon epsilon naught right sigma sigma is nothing it is the surface charge density right it is a surface charge density so this can be written as sigma naught upon epsilon naught and ep can be written as sigma p upon epsilon naught and in case of polarization sigma p is nothing but it is the polarization vector right sigma p is nothing but the polarization vector so it can be written as sigma this can be substituted as polarization vector upon epsilon naught just take the lcm then just transfer this epsilon naught to another side to be like this then this is nothing but your displacement vector derivation and this term is nothing but your displacement vector right this is your displacement vector so now we'll see another derivation that uh, relationship between d and e so for the relationship between d and e you knew that gauss law states that the flux flux is equals to e dot da is equals to 1 by epsilon naught times the charge and close right it is for the closed surface so this was for air medium right this epsilon naught was for air medium but as you know here we have already introduced one another medium of dielectric slab right this is your dielectric slab so uh, this this does not become your air medium so your medium got changed so here it will come only epsilon this is your permittivity of the medium so this was your permittivity of air medium this is your permittivity of the medium right of the given material so this can be written as this is your gauss law right this is by gauss law by gauss law by gauss law you can write like this right so this can be written as e integration of da equals to 1 by epsilon naught q 1 by epsilon q so integration of da will give you the complete area the integration of a small area will give you the complete area so this is nothing but here you got the value of e equals to just transfer this a to the denominator side then you can get q by a e right so now you are trying to find the relationship between d and e and you already knew by the definition of displacement vector it is defined as charge upon area right so just take the ratio of d and e because you have already knew the value of d as well as e e you have find out just now so d by e can be written as d is already q by a right so e just you have already found here like this q upon a e a epsilon right so just write down then this can be cancelled out q and q a and a can be cancelled out and you will get out to be epsilon only so transfer this e to another side d equals to epsilon into e that is displacement vector is equals to epsilon into e, e vector right so this is your required relationship between d and e now we will look to the relationship between again e and p for the relationship between e and p let's start from here suppose let's keep this as equation number one so from equation one from equation one e is equals to e naught minus e p right so this can e naught is just write down as it is right so for e p i already told you it can be written as sigma upon epsilon naught right the sigma is sigma p now particularly we are talking about polarization right e p is due to polarization so again sigma p is equals to p in case of polarization p vector so just take the lcm you will find out this much then just transfer this epsilon epsilon naught to the left hand side then you will find this much now for p just keep this p to left side and transfer this to another side you will get this much right so just take e e vector as common when you took e vector as common then here you will divide it by e vector because when e and e will get cancelled out then it will remain epsilon naught into e naught right so here you took already common so it will be one so uh, electric field this this is which electric field is this this is in ear right so e upon e is what electric field in ear upon e is your dielectric constant k so i would like to add one more point here 
for relationship between e and p you can finish up here only right because here e is already here e node is here e node doesn't matter because we are particularly looking for e and p so e is there p is there so you can just finish up here only but we, why are we going this much we, we want to introduce even the k here right dielectric constant so you have to solve till here in order to introduce k now finally we'll loop out here uh, the relationship between k dielectric constant and electric susceptibility i think this is much more important so watch it carefully for relationship between uh, dielectric constant k and electric susceptibility chi e let's let's start from here let's keep this as equation number two and let's keep this as equation number three so from equation number two you have d and uh, d is equals to epsilon naught a plus p and from equation three you have this right and the point to be noted is polarization is directly proportional to the applied electric field so if you want to remove this proportionality by equal to sign then you have to what multiply it by constant of proportionality this chi e electrical susceptibility is nothing but your constant of proportionality so put equation number five and six in equation number four so you will find out this much right this is your simple mathematics now you have got this much we are trying to find the relationship between k and chi e so chi e you have already found here but k is not there so introduce to in order to introduce k here in this equation you will solve further right so just solve further and then you uh, this e is there right so just divide this whole equation by e then uh, e will get cancelled out so you it will be left epsilon equal to epsilon naught plus chi e so now again divide this whole equation by epsilon naught in order to introduce k like before we have seen here e upon electric field upon electric field is nothing but what dielectric constant so similarly epsilon upon permittivity upon permittivity is nothing but dielectric constant right permittivity upon permittivity is nothing but your dielectric constant so here i just simply took the lcm in simpler way so just trans uh, here i did this chi e just keep here and epsilon naught just transfer another side then this will come to negative then just take epsilon naught common then this is your required expression for the relationship between k and chi e so ho hopefully this must be very helpful to you so if you want more videos regard uh, related to bsc physics derivations please subscribe to my channel thank you